what is up? It is Maddie Q and welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Well, the, so the, I'm sorry about this. This camera angle is really high up and I'm sorry about that. I'm just like kind of testing camera angles out or whatever. Uh, anyways, this video might seem a little weird compared to like previous videos. I am going to SIE Expression now, which means I have access to Premiere. So I am actually going to be editing this on campus to try to practice my editing skills. Um, and also to just generally practice on Premiere, so, so I can learn how to use it. Anyways guys, before we completely get into this video, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, let me know what my, your favorite video from me is so far if you're not new to the channel. If you're new to the channel, how are you? Let me know in the comments. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification, because then you get notified whenever I post a new video. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is about the time that I was haunted. Um, I could probably go on about a few stories, because I do remember, as you guys can tell by the video, this is a story of when I was haunted before. Um, I have technically been haunted multiple times throughout my life, because I do remember when I was a child. When I was a child, I do remember, like, um, seeing, like, a bunch of, like, shadows and stuff when I was a kid, and I used to, like, hear voices or whatever, too, which isn't, wasn't really my imagination. Like, I know people are gonna go watch this, and be like, oh, you're just crazy, and I'm like, cool. Say what you will. Be a skeptic. I honestly don't care. This is a story that one of my moderators on Twitch has been asking me to do because he thinks it's absolutely hilarious, along with my viewers have been curious about it a little bit as well on Twitch. So that's why I'm making this. But yeah, I also like, yeah, I used to see shadows. I remember one time, it was around Christmas time, my mother and my father were both, it was when my mom was actually with my step, not my stepfather, but my birth giver, sperm donator as I like to call them. And they were actually together at this time. And I remember I came out of the bathroom and I saw someone downstairs stairs but I knew my mom was like in front of me and my dad I saw him in my mom's room and I was like there was someone downstairs I saw a shadow and she was like no you saw nothing it's fine sweetie and then she brought me to my room and I'm like okay I mean to be fair I thought it was Santa Claus <laughs> um but it wasn't it wasn't and the only people living in the house were me and my older brother who was in our bedroom our bedroom already and my mom and my sperm donor Actually, it might have been my mom's. Actually, I lied. It was my mother's ex-boyfriend. T. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of like, I just remember seeing shadows and stuff a lot when I was a kid, basically. And I used to see people that weren't actually there occasionally. But, you know, it was fine. That was crazy, right, guys? Nah, no, it's probably a ghost. But anyways, the main focus of the story is actually something that happened much later in my life. Well, not much later. I think I was probably, like, I want to say somewhere between the ages of 16 and 18, I think. Oh, my arm is itchy. Uh, so, basically, I guess, let's go back to when I was about, I think, 14 or 15, probably, I was probably like 13 or 14, I think I, I was probably 14. I hope you guys like me arguing with myself. Uh, so basically my friend Jessica, she used to have this Ouija board that her and her mother used to contact some type of spirit. Uh, basically the story I got from her is her mother and her used it and then contacted something and when they tried to destroy it, they couldn't. They bur tried to burn the Ouija board and the Ouija board would not burn. So basically they got some type of spirit and or demonic presence attached to the board and messed up because it wouldn't go away. <laughs> Sorry there's like an excessive amount of pauses. I keep looking down to itch my arm by rubbing it because it's itchy because of hairs. But anyways, you guys don't need to know that. Um, and so fast forward a little bit later. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I don't know exactly when they her when Jessica and her mother did that. But um, I used to stay in the night at her house a lot when I was like in high school. Our first couple, my like I think it was our freshman and sophomore year in high school, and then we kind of drifted apart. And there was one night while I was staying the night at her, at her house. And the Ouija board was just like creeping us out a lot because it was like a Ouija board that had a spirit connect to it of some sort. And we just got bad vibes from her closet because it was like, it sat in the top of her closet on top of like everything on her top shelf or whatever. And so one day we just got kind of tired of it and so I grabbed it and took it off the shelf and we used to talk mad, mad poopies about it. And so that probably didn't make the spirit happy. And we threw it, we just threw it in the garbage. Um, and this never came back from what I understand. If it did, she didn't tell me about it. But a few years later after that, um, Miles and I and his family, we went to the Winchester house. And I had a weird vibe all weird. Like, it was a really cool place and I 
absolutely loved it. It was really interesting to walk around. I would love to go do a night tour, which after I tell you the story probably may or may not be a good idea for me. And it was just like really cool. It was kind of creepy. I felt like someone was watching me a little bit most of the time I was there, honestly. Like there was a lot of people there, so maybe someone actually was creepily watching me. But like when I would look, no one was there. So again, maybe it was like nothing, but I feel like it might have been something. Uh, but basically right after we got back, uh, weird things started happening to me and it was only like directed towards me. So there was this wig head we had because we used to, Malice had used the t um, a wig head to make a mask in order to get like the paper mache thing off or whatever he, of the wig head. He had to cut it, the face off. And so we just had a wig head for some reason that we kept for a while without a face. So it's a wig head without a face. It's like a styrofoam wig head without a face. I'll probably post it somewhere on the screen at some point just so if you guys don't know what it looks like, you will. Um, it'll also most likely be a photo in the thumbnail with this, so you guys can look forward to that, I guess. Anyways, uh, so basically this wig head started moving around the, our bedroom. Me and Miles would share a bedroom when I would stay at his house, and it started moving around the house. Well, the pit bedroom. It was very weird. It, the first time I think it ended up somewhere, I had, I would like, I was like sitting in the corner in his room or whatever on the floor on a mattress or whatever I think at that time. And a bunch of my stuff was just like piled off to the side or whatever in the corner. And I was like unburying stuff. I think looking for my chaps or something while well, everyone had been in the living room for like hours. Like if someone went in our room, I would have heard slash saw it. And no one had. I was like the first one to go in the room after hours. I was just sitting out there with his family watching TV and just socializing with the familia. Um, anyways, when I went into the room to go look for something, I was unburying some of my stuff. And underneath all my stuff, I don't know how it ended up. Like this was basically, it was all what I, how I I remember leaving it when I left the room earlier. The wig head was just underneath like a pile of my pillows and blankets and I freaked out and I ran out of the room and I tried to rationalize it. I was like, I was asked and literally everyone in the living room was like, did you do it? Did you do it? No one, everyone said no. I'm just freaking out. So I'm like, that is creepy. Why did they move by yourself? Uh, and then I believe it did, it moved a couple other times as well. I think the next time it moved, if I remember properly, it happened, it moved itself behind a, uh, it moved itself behind a bunch of, no, yeah, it moved itself behind a bunch of stuff, animals and stuff that was on one of the shelves in the room, which was weird. I was like, again, I was on varying things, looking for something on theirs as a wake head, but the last place I had left it was on his chair, like his desk chair, so I was like, okay, uh, it was another example of it was a day and neither of us had been in the room for hours. And the first time, the first person to go in the room in ages and there's a wig head. The faceless wig head on, or buried under things. And so after that I was like, fine, you want to be there, fine, you're going to be buried under there. And then, <laughs> I went in the room again at one point, I think it was like, I think I got like, was going to the shower, I was taking a shower, or going to the bathroom, I was like, I feel like I need to double check that it's actually in there. And I went to, I, un I like took some of the stuffed animals out for where it should have been, and it wasn't there. There was still the hole in there, like the wig, like nothing had been moved at all. Every The, the stuffed animals that was buried behind, the stuffed animals that were behind it on the shelf weren't moved, like at all. So that was a thing as well. And when I turned the wheel, like a wall divider, and I moved the wall divider, and I screamed because it was sitting on my chair facing me. So that was also fun. And then I think that was the last time. No, I, I know. And then another case, I had it just sitting on the shelf, the shelf, just like, fine. And I like buried it on a shelf that was on like my half of the room or whatever. So I couldn't see it while I slept, but I was like, I don't, well, I want to make sure that it's not someone just messing with me. And he had gone to bed earlier than I did. And I woke up before him as well. And if he would, I like, he would have woken me up hiding on the room because he's a He's very clumsy and he can't see well in pitch black. And <laughs> the wig head had moved itself back onto my chair, and where it was buried on the shelves on my side was untouched again. And so finally, after trying to make a crappy Ouija board on paper, which didn't work, uh, his grandma, who's absolutely crazy, but knows things about spirits, because crazy grandmas know spiritual things or whatever. Well, some do. After that, we went to her, and she was like, after all that, I was saving the crap out of the room, and it was not healthy. She was like, wrap, put it in a plastic bag, and just throw it away. And so we put it in, like, three plastic bags, tied it tight, and then put it in the garbage, and then I staged the entire room again. And then after that, I just had nothing else happen along those lines, but like, during the entire, um, 
that entire thing. Mouse, I remember, said he said he saw things. I just had weird vibes throughout the entire house, especially in the cellar, which is a cellar, so it was like kind of creepy as it is, I suppose, but like, I just, it was so creepy. And then like, I remember, I think it was a couple months ago, I was like, well, now we have separate rooms now that I'm living with him, and we're on like opposite ends of the house, and it was like dark because it was like the middle of the night, and I was walking to his room, and I could, I thought I heard like a little kid laugh or something. There's no little kids that live here anymore, so it was like, I, whatever, okay, that's weird. And when I got to the hall, I got like close to the hall, and I could have sworn I saw someone, I just kept going. I was like, I thought I could have sworn I walked through like a little kid's shadow. Like, it was weird. I, I saw a distinct shadow outline and like a sh it was a black shadow like I can see I can see fairly well in the dark and there was just like this pitch black silhouette of a child in like the front of the hallway and I just walked through it and kept going and then I went in his room and panicked a little bit and I told him what I saw. Um, but yeah guys, so those are some of my stories about being haunted. Um, my mother used to believe, I believe, <laughs> that I am some, I'm a little sensitive to the spiritual world or I'm just crazy. <laughs> One of the two, I'm going to believe I'm sensitive to the spiritual world because personally I believe in ghosts and whatnot so that's a thing, you're welcome. Um, but yeah, that's my haunted story, slash stories. Uh, I don't think it was excessively long, it's gonna be like probably a 14 minute video, 12, 13 minute video, I think, so. If you did, guy, words. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure you leave a big thumbs up on it, I would really appreciate it. Also, comment down below, let me know if you guys have any type of like, ghost stories or like supernatural stories or those like any type of supernatural creature, I suppose, or like aliens or whatever, let me know in the comments. Also, I guess, let me know whether or not you believe me, because I'm interested to see how many people who follow me are skeptic, skeptical, skeptic, skeptics. Words are very hard for me, guys. Also, just to see how much hate comments I get in this, if this actually starts getting views, because that would be, I am looking forward to it. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and press that bell notification, because then you get notified whenever I post, and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy hauntings.